Hello, this is part of uh, module one with instruments and in this module we're going to talk about the EPD or an electronic personnel dosimeter. This EPD uses solid state detectors to make radiation measurements. The Siemens Mark II electronic personnel dosimeter or EPD measures beta, x-rays, and gamma radiation. Radiation that is detected by the EPD is processed to give an indication of penetrating dose superficial dose and the dose rates. This information is displayed to the user via an LCD display on the top of the EPD. It is contained in a high impact plastic case, operates on a 3.6 volt 6 month lithium battery or a AA battery 1.5 volt and weighs about 95 grams. It is a sealed unit and is splash proof. The unit will withstand short periods of immersion in water, but is not designed for prolonged immersion under pressure. The dosimeter contains three silicon diode detectors. Radiation detected by the three detectors is combined to give the following dose equivalents. HP10, personal dose equivalent at a depth of 10 millimeters of tissue. It is penetrating, it is deep or whole body dose. HP 0.07 is a personal dose equivalent at a depth of 0.07 millimeters of tissue. It is superficial, shallow, or skin dose. The EPD calculates both the accumulated dose and the dose rate for HP 10 and HP 0.07. A four digit LCD display provides indication of the total integrated doses from 0 to 1600 rem in increments of 0 0.1 millirem and the dose rate from 0 to 400 rems per hour in increments of 0 0.1 millirem per hour and this data is on 10-year retention. The dosimeter can be set to alarm at a preset integrated dose or dose rate level. In addition to the audible alarm, an LED in the dosimeter gives a visual indication. Alarms can be set in increments of 1 millirem or 1 millirem per hour. A low battery alarm indication means 12 hours of battery life is left. The dosimeter will be zeroed and all parameters reviewed and set by the analytic equipment specialist before issue. Nothing can be set or changed by the user. Some of the buttons on it is a beta window, a sounder, the button itself, battery compartment, LED, and the LCD display. To operate the EPD, you must hold down the button for a specified period of time. A long press is where you press the button and hold for a second or more. And a short press is very quick releases of the button. Alarms are indicated in various ways on the LCD. Alarms are acknowledged by pressing the button, long press, and this action will extinguish the alarm LED and mute the sound. To navigate through the menu items on the LCD display, press and hold the button down and the menu items will start to slowly scroll. When you see the menu of interest, release the button and use short presses to obtain the information you need. The options available to the field teams are the HP10 and the HP.07 total dose, test, dose alarm, and dose rate alarm functions. HP 10 dose is the default screen and the EPD automatically will return to this screen if it doesn't receive any more presses of the button. Note, units of dose are shown on the upper right of the LCD screen. To test the EPD, long press the button until you see test and release button. Two immediate short presses will automatically start the EPD functional test. It can be tested at any time to verify that the EPD is functioning properly. To get HP10 or deep dose, long press the button, 
until you see HP 10 and release button. One immediate short press will give you dose and another short press will give you dose rates for the whole body. To get HP 0.07 shallow dose, long press the button until you see HP 07 and release button. One immediate short press will give you dose and another short press will give you dose rates to the skin. To get total dose, deep and shallow, long press the button until you see TOT and release button. One immediate short press will give you HP 10 dose and another short press will give you HP 0.07 dose. To see dose alarm thresholds, long press the button until you see DAL and release button. One immediate short press will give you first dose alarm set point, a second short press will give you the second dose alarm set point, and a third short press will give you the HP.07 dose alarm set points. To see the dose rate alarm thresholds, long press the button until you see R, on, and release button. One immediate short press will give you first dose rate alarm set point, a second short press will give you the second dose rate alarm set point, and a third short press will give you the HP.07 dose rate alarm set points. The Mark II will be used as a backup for the Luxol badge, which remains the dose record. The user should read the accumulated dose and report it to the field team director when either the shallow HP.07 is near the limit of 5,000 millirem or the deep dose HP10 nears the limit of 500 millirem or if fields of 5 rem per hour are encountered. If a high dose rate has been encountered, the user should immediately leave the area before reporting it to the field team director. The range, again, is 0 to 400 rems per hour for dose rate and 0 to 1600 rem for total dose. It has a warm-up time of none at all. Accuracy is plus or minus 20 percent. Some of the advantages are it's easy to use, provides both dose rate and total dose, measures gamma, x-ray, and beta radiation. It has audible alarms and a, a long battery life. Its um, most notable disadvantage is, is that it does not measure neutron radiation dose. Any questions, please give us a call here at Emergency Response Group.